Hi. Hi. So Hello please guys. introduce yourself. Uh, my name is William. I'm Italian. I live in Shenzhen from 2017 and uh, I'm general manager for AE Technology. Here we are introducing our new technology for AI solution for our camera scooter. It says aviation technology? Yeah, because originally AE is a, a builder for drones, manufacturing for drones. Uh, like and this industrial. one? Exactly, yeah. This is what is this? One of your drones? Actually, yeah, this is our one of our drones. It's a consumer drones, uh, which is used for uh, for uh, taking videos and uh, it could be controlled by APPs. Uh, actually, one more interesting is over here. Oh wow! We call it's a drone that fits in my pocket. Exactly. So this is called uh, Air Selfie. Basically, is contained by a, a power a power bank. Okay. So this is the drone. It's a standalone drone, so you just keep on the on the palm of your hand, and you throw it, and this starts. Is it ready to, to launch? Uh, I, Is it charged? I right can now? try. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. So you hold it like this and throw it. No, oh, so it's not ready. <laughs> need to charge, right? So is it powered on or not? How to make sure it's powered on? It's a, I think he's uh, can do that. Three times. Ah, three times. Okay. Can look at my face. Okay. It's gonna fall again. Low battery, low battery, low battery. Ah, low battery. Yeah. Nice. Nice. They only follow you, and not me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's blinking. So it's a selfie drone. <laughs> Yeah, selfie drone. Actually, it's standalone selfie drone, so it can recognize your face and following you, so you can make the some is kind of AI inside. It's AI a kind of AI, so it can like in a group of people, it can recognize your face and following you. So, and this is the power station. So when it's, it's called uh, Air Air Neo? Selfie. Yes, Air, Air, Air Neo. Yeah, we have two different is models: it, Air Selfie and Air Neo. Is it in mass production now? Is it mass production already? Yes. This is the packaging. Nice. It comes, comes out with the power bank already. When it's out of charge, like in this moment, you just plug it. You know, my you dream has always around. been to do my live stream. You know, I do live stream. And then I want to have two drones around, to take different angles. <laughs> ah, it's know? nice. When I interview you, it should just follow me around and land on my bag. This you know? is uh, one of our ideas for scooters. Uh, uh, last year, we introduced... Uh, one of our model we, we don't show over here, but for we, live streamers, we, yeah, we mount a transponder inside of our scooter, and then when you ride it, the the, the, the drone that you saw over there can follow you and can can record it. <laughs> transponder. Yeah, just so it's got uh, a signal to the drone. Exactly, keep your distance. So you're riding, and the, the the drone is following you while you're riding and take a video. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But it needs to land on your backpack, and then it should charge on your backpack. Yeah, kind of, kind Without of. Without hurting, hurting your ears off. You know? yeah, exactly. You should be safe. <laughs> yes, that's it. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> that's kind of a nice like you idea. You guys can do that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You we have all these we are a technology company. We like to do something different. Like, uh, as you see, the here our school. We cooperate already with uh, several big companies like uh, Aprilia, Ducati, and Lamborghini. These are kind of our clients. And um, uh, by ourselves, we launch this scooter with a, a camera, inbuilt camera. Basically, we introduce the uh, dash cam into the into the scooter. So when I turn on the power wow. of the scooter, this starts automatically to record. You can see the LED soon will blink, means wow. that it's recording. So everything will happen right now. It will be stored into a micro SD card in the back of the of the stem. Okay. This micro SD card can be accessed with a special tool. In case you have a, a, an accident, a crash, and you want to keep the evidence, you can just give uh, the SD card to the authorities, police, or uh, uh, so insurance it's a, companies. It's like a dash cam, it is but a, for the scooter. Absolutely, it, it is a, a dash cam, and this can be paired by, with uh, Bluetooth with uh, your APP. And you can share the videos with your friends uh, on uh, social networks and, um, and so on. And uh, what we are in, launching here is the AI. So. With this, with the, through through the camera, we are able to recognize dangerous objects uh, that can be dangerous for the for the rider. You can we can show us even some videos if you if you if you like. An uh, example, uh, one practical example could be when there are some uh, 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 dangerous. Uh, you are going to 25 kilometers per hour, for example. The uh, uh, scooter automatically slow down to six kilometers to prevent any accident. This wow. is just of our, one of our applications. This nearly like. 
hands-free self-driving soon. Yeah, and here is that we, possible? Yeah, like a Tesla self-driving. Absolutely. Uh, this is uh, we are doing on three-wheel scooter, which uh, uh, allow you to stand on the scooter without put down the, uh, the feet. Just let me understand. <laughs> Uh, mm. And this way we can do also auto automatic automatic uh, driving, yes. Turning? Uh, turning. Uh, this is mostly used for sharing scooters. When uh, you know sharing, you just leave it in in, uh, around the road and then the, the scooter can automatically go back, go back. to charge uh, over uh, some areas. Yeah. Is that really going to work? Yeah, is it's AI. Ah, it's very, it, 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 next year will be working. We are working on this. But because it's already I see all on, these cities that have so many scooters. Yeah, the sharing scooters, yes. and then there's these guys, it's a huge job. They have to go pick them up, bring them to the charger. Exactly if you can make it work automatically, <laughs> yes. it changed the whole city. Yeah, but you catch me for something new for the next show, so you ruin it. <laughs> wow, that's a awesome, that's that's amazing. Three, yeah. three wheels. Three wheels. Is you will uh, see a whole bunch of drones, uh, 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 not drones, you will see a whole bunch of scooters. Scooters going, back going to all together, go to charge, or some uh, uh, areas where the government the town maybe they want the, the, the scooter they stay so yeah, not to stay it's street, not nice right? to, yeah it's not nice to see the scooters around this can but also what I want I want to walk down my apartment yeah and then as soon as I'm on the street come to you it's there look with the AI I think we, everybody is impressed by AI and uh, we can reach it if it's can not, reach it. Uh, yes, in the, the next few few years we can do it. Everything. It's, uh, because uh, if you can get a scooter on demand, right next to your office, right next to your school, right next to your apartment, and it's just waiting for you exactly, exactly. when you need it. <laughs> this is the idea. That's, <laughs> this is the purpose. That's, that's a little bit mind blowing yeah, if yeah, it can yeah. work. It is. It the is. problem is, three wheels, it's stable, it's not going to fall. No, three wheels say it's uh, completely stable because it's uh, have two wheels on the back or, or in the front, it just stay. Dif differently for this, that you need a stand to park it. If you don't, yeah. if you don't put the stand, this will fall down. Where does the third wheel go in the back or in the front? Uh, we will have two models, one uh, with uh, two wheels in the front and one in the back, and one and another model with two uh, wheels in the back and one in the front. So actually, the motor could maybe even lower this when it goes around by itself? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, you know, like... Uh, this, you can actually lower it. Maybe yeah. there could be a motor that lowers it, so it's not driving around <laughs> okay. with this. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that could, makes sense. It could be, it could be. It's, uh, be. it's possible, yeah, why not? It's a good idea, good input. And, you know, I, I saw all these uh, um, electric cars that are changing the world. Yeah. But this is not very far, and some of these, they have models where you can sit down. Yeah. It's like, it's like a car, basically. But yeah. it's very, very much more affordable. Do you do anything uh, like that? Uh, look, the sitting scooter is a different field because it becomes like a motorcycle. So me, I come from Europe. European rules, they impose you if you have a, a, a seat, become totally like a motorcycle. So it's different from the uh, private transportation, micro mobility like this. But it uh, definitely Because I have is, a uh, feeling that when you sit, it could be safer. Yeah, um, could, yeah, could be, but become a motorcycle. So it's okay. not a micro mobility uh, device. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, this is a little bit our concept because it's so hard to find new innovation on uh, e-scooters. So we think that something like this can really uh, give us a step beyond. How is that possible? What's happening here? Is it really for the snow? Yeah, absolutely. This is actually a standard e-scooters, a little bit bigger com uh, comparing the others that you see. And we provide a kit uh, composed by this part and this slide, okay? So uh, the, the, the end user can decide if to use like a normal scooter or just remove a few screws, mount this uh, part and the slide and go on the snow, uh, or even on uh, just keeping the, this wheel in the front and this on the back on the beach or off-road. Can off -road. it do both? Can Sorry? it do snow and wheel? Yeah, 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 absolutely. You can it's compose mix, uh, how, how you... But how you without having to use screws? You just switch on the, you the just, snowmobile yeah. and you turn it back to the wheels? Absolutely. This is just remove these two screws and you mount this wheel. And on the back is a little bit more complicated, but it, we are, it's just a matter of screws. Remove it and plug the, the motor and plug this one and, and close oh. it and it's done. You can, go, you can use this to go up the hill? Absolutely. This is very strong. It mounts 500 watts on the, on the back motor. So, and the battery is 15 AS, so very, very powerful. So basically, you killed the, the ski lift. 
<laughs> business, right? Yeah, we you can go up the mountain now. <laughs> By and you, every mountain. Yes. Like all the off piece yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. they get to the top of the Mont Blanc or whatever. Exactly. And you put in the trunk of your car and, and carry then you, around. <laughs> and then maybe you, 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 you put it on your back and somehow you, you fly back down the mountain. Yeah, kind of. It's, oh, a, little bit heavy, heavy, huh? it's a little bit heavy, but uh, heavy, yeah. you can try if you're strong enough. Oh yeah, you go up the mountain, but you come down with it also. Yes, why it's not? cool too. Because yeah. when you go down, no need so much power, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's like zero power to go down, or uh, can, still need can to use turn. zero power, but it's always better to keep the engine on so you can uh, use the brake, the electronic brake. It cannot regenerate power. Can can it can, it can regenerate uh, bas mostly from the from the braking system. So pushing the br electric braking system, you can regenerate the power in the battery. Nice. What do we see here? Is that a stand-up paddle with motor? This is a electric motor. Mot motor motorized surf, uh, entirely composing uh, carbon fiber. So, uh, we have one of the advantage of our factories to produce yeah. uh, the carbon fiber material internally. And uh, this is the board. This is the uh, battery slot. So all this part is for the battery, uh, uh, dedicated for the battery in a compartment, uh, waterproof compartment. And from this uh, joystick, we can uh, uh, give a power to the motor. So as much as I push, the motor as more the, the motor will push. There's a motor right there. Yeah, on the back there, there is a, there is the motor and the the turbo. <laughs> and then, uh, and uh, one, turbo. one of the, one of the feature that we add and is one of our core technology is to add the camera like on the on the scooter. So uh, we call POV camera because the uh, users they, they like to take videos of themselves when riding on the sea. Wow, it's, is it uh, stabilizing the footage? Absolutely, yes. This camera is uh, high resolution, like uh, the one on the, on the, on the okay. scooters. 4K, here we can recognize even the car plates, uh, the faces, uh, and so on. Very high resolution. And this, we, here we are using the same technology. Wow. Uh, it would be cool if uh, uh, something like this... Okay, my dream, I'll tell you a little bit. Uh, I'd like to have one going out another angle going back to the face of the driver and with a, a, a microphone that just captures only his voice mm -hmm. and then live streaming live stream. switch okay. between the two cameras live stream the whole day going around the city <laughs> okay 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 i understand what you mean That's so basically two cameras right yeah two one to me and one front the, the maybe also one in the back i don't know to be, to be honest you're, you're very switching. clever you're very clever because these are one of the development we are studying for the sharing systems sharing scooters because the one camera can record what actually is happening during the riding and one camera can record uh, who is using the, the sharing scooter and so if they do some damage or they do something illegal we can we can recognize nice. so this is something we are developing for US market for the next year. So that's security uh, function. Security function for sharing, mostly for sharing. But it sharing. would be great if it also doubles as scan the QR code or something, boom, it goes on your YouTube channel. It goes on your Instagram. It goes on your Facebook. That's, that's, Live. Very, that's very easy because with APP you can do that. Because once you connect with the, with the, with the scooter, you, you are uh, using your phone and you can do the streaming, live streaming, it's fine. And it should have a very good microphone capture just your voice, yeah. not the whole city too much, like uh, directional and with noise cancelling uh, AI or something, so good sound. And then you'd use this as your social media uh, transport live streaming when you go to the school I, uh, or when you go to the office this is uh, our way really you, you're very clever you catch exactly what we would like to do this already include the microphone to be honest uh, not noise cancelling but the audio quality is, is very good and the live streaming could be a very very nice feature for the future because then you use the app you call it it comes to you and then you go to the office <laughs> yes and then the next one the live stream on their own channel exactly. everybody connect their own channel to it yeah yeah and uh, but one can be used by hundreds of people. Yeah, um, it's true. One feature that I didn't mention to you is also about the privacy, uh, which some some clients they might, uh, some users they might concern. Uh, we also thought about it. Uh, one is the blinking LED to uh, alert that you are actually recording. Okay, and the other one is the password protection. So. Uh, every files and uh, every access to the every video is protected by password. So if I'm driving, if I'm riding this scooter, I'm the only one that can see these videos. 
the one only. If uh, someone, uh, someone else get, uh, want to write this, they need my password so they cannot access. Cool. All right. And uh, I guess how many, how long time have you been doing this? You say you work with Lamborghini and everybody yeah, uh, and Ducati. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you've been doing this technology for many years. Yeah. Me, me personally, I, I work in e-mobility from over 10 years and uh, I'm general manager of this division in AE from over four years. Uh, so this is our product range and uh, our path. We really believe uh, in it. and. Uh, we think that there is a lot to develop more and AI for sure will help us. The cameras also, that's uh, amazing. Yeah, and you talk about the AI safety for, for less accidents, a safer Absolutely. rides. Absolutely, you know, every country is now, uh, they are trying to put more, uh, add more rules uh, for, for because of some accidental uh, death or accident. So we think the AI, AI can really help when uh, uh, you can detect the, the some uh, object that they're not dangerous but in the same time you can detect something dangerous and you can alert the, the, the rider with some uh, alert or even what we are thinking for also for the next future is to combine with AI glasses so with AI glasses you can even see which are uh, the, the dangerous uh, obstacles. I would think uh, maybe it's some people would be against this idea but I would think it should link up to the police and if there's a driver who doesn't drive safely the number plates goes directly. So every time they see a guy with a scooter, all the drivers will be more careful around. Yeah. Because they know that if they do a mistake, the, it will go directly to the police in real time. This is definitely something possible if uh, can be, something can be applied. We already did, uh, our company already did some tests with uh, some local uh, police forces. And uh, this is also something that can be used, even uh, using some 4G or 5G technologies. Uh, the, the central station of uh, the police station can monitor a, a fleet of the scooters with a camera. And this can be very efficient, especially in, uh, in the cities. In the cities where uh, maybe with uh, cars you cannot go, uh, you can go only by walk, but with the scooters you can access very easily. You don't do bicycles? Uh, no, at the moment, no. Uh, we, we, we had a production line also in uh, Ibin, in the Sichuan province, also for uh, uh, e-bikes, uh, but only for Chinese market. All right.